Okay, so I am recording this one now. Sorry, we all had a, a good chit chat beforehand. Um, this is Tuesday, the 21st of, February, of January, and we're talking a little bit about the February group and really getting ready for it. Um, before we had come on here, uh, Brooke and I were kind of talking about referrals and how we really haven't tapped into a lot of that as a team. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that on this call, but I'm also we're also just gonna really try to um, dive into February. So let me pull up my notes one more time um, so that I make sure that I cover everything I wanted to cover. And then if you are watching the playback, just know that you can ask questions um, in, in a group chat or in a private message, or you can ask them in the Be Well Coaches page underneath the post where this video is. Um, that's a great place to start. So, um, okay, so one thing that I wanted to make sure that we were gonna cover is uh, last month we used a form and it was tinyurl.com slash be well kickstart. Um, was there any updates, Brooke, that you thought should be made? Do you think, like, what are your thoughts on using that? So the purpose of this form and why I made it simpler than all of our other forms was it was that referral process. It was that whole, okay, this month we're going to have like a couple people, a handful of people that are getting success from our group. We can then tag them in a post saying, you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm, it was so awesome to see all of these people having success. Um, you know, some ladies lost, like they, they, by their second week, they told me that they lost two pounds. Another woman sat, talked about her consistency being better. Another woman partnered with a friend and they decided to do um, one of our three week programs together and it really helped keep them accountable. I'm so excited about everything that happened in January. I can't wait to kickstart February. If you're seeing this, it's because your friend was in our group and I've tagged them in this post. You can click this link to see a little bit more about our group and join into the next one yourself. So so that's really like that literally is like the post that I'm going to be making. Um, it'll sound really similar to that, if not that exactly. Um, and so I've seen this from other coaches and this kind of goes into that referral system. And, and this is where I will, when I get, I, I'm getting a referral document. So like we've said uh, before this call started, Brooke and I were kind of talking, we're like, we really don't know what to do with referrals um, just because it's not something that we've worked really, really well with honestly as as a whole entire team like it's not something that's been really well trained to me so i definitely haven't passed it along um and it's not like it's never probably it probably has been trained to me it's just one of those like i just didn't catch it so i'm really trying to catch the catch the wind with this one um because i really think and can see where this will make a challenge group more fun because all of our friends like if a friend is doing it with a new, another friend it'll be more fun um so anyways so i am going to be making a post that has basically an invite like that. I will also be reaching out to my current accountability, or excuse me, my current um, friends that are doing this, um, that are in our current group. And I just read Brooke the verbiage on this one, and I'll read it again right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably going to try to actually call people. Um, and if I don't call them, I'm going to send them a voice message. And so it will say something like this. Hey, Brittany, I'm excited to see all the success that you're having with this last group. And you can tell that if they're, if they're having success or not by their posts or, hey, I just wanted to check in on you at this last group if you don't know if they're having success. So anyways, I'm reaching out to you today because I wanted to see how I can help you re even more reach your goals. I wanna know what's been working for you, what hasn't, or do you have anything that's challenging for you right now that I can help with? As you know, we have another challenge group starting February 2nd, and I would love to have you in that group with us. Tell me a little bit more about your experience. Let them talk to you, let them answer, and then from there, um, talk about accountability. You know, I would love to have you back in this one. It sounds like it would be good for you. Um, do you have a couple friends that would want to do this with you and that would also benefit from being in this group? And so, like I said, I'll get some referral verbiage. I'll make sure it's in the group, but that's really, that is going to be my process. So, of course, I will be making posts. I will be reaching out to anybody that likes on my posts about the current group. Um, you know, but the hope is that they'll fill out that I think I'm just going to keep it. I wasn't going to change the link. I was just going to use that same be well kickstart. I know that there's like 20 to 30 submissions on there already. I was just going to kind of use, there's a date so you can kind of see when people submit. So I was just not going to delete anything just yet on that guide. But um, Brooke, Ashley, any feedback from hearing any of that game plan right now using the form and asking for referrals? So I do have some feedback on the form. I wanted to like click through it so that I could remember like what all was on there, Perfect. but you can only fill it out one time. And so ah, yes, thank you. Okay. 
You're right. So, so that is, that's perfect. That is great feedback. So what Brooke is saying, and I have this same problem on the form. So I'll, um, I'm going to share my screen right now so that anybody that's, um, watching the recording and maybe they, you know, cause I know I've got, um, I know I have Amber who I think wants to invite to this group. Um, and I know, I don't believe that she even saw the form in the first place. So I know my screen looks crazy because I have like a million things open, but I'm just going to go to www.tinyurl.com slash kicks. That's not it. Slash be well. Let's see here. Slash be well kickstart. Sorry. Uh, it'd be nice if I could spell things. Tiny. So, because I'm going to show you, my kids are awake now. Of course they are. Okay, and this is going to a page that does not exist. <laughs> AliExpress. Pretty sure I've gone on there for jewelry in the past. Awesome. Don't you love technology? And it, but it is smart. Like, let's go and see this. www. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I would love these. I have looked at these a million times. I don't know how this popped up, but if, if you guys want to know what I would love to, to put into my jewelry collection, this would be it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh how funny okay yeah so it brings you to a page saying you've already responded um so we'll get to that let me see what the chat is I bet Ashley's like can't toddler losing her shit <laughs> okay only problem ah uh, see and I don't know how to do that thank you Ashley for that feedback too so Ashley was saying the problem she had is it requested people to sign into their Google account and some people didn't have a Google account okay this is perfect because I was wondering if it was just me. Um, so I'm going to, so it says you've already responded. I'm going to go edit your response. And basically what I need to do is just do a little bit of, um, of figuring out how to, how to fix this form. Open your editing your response. Oh, this isn't the edit version. Okay. Anyways, I will take notes. I'll try to edit this. I'll try to see if there's a way to not have people sign in. And I'll try to see if there's a way that people can submit, basically submit more than once is the, I think the button that I would click on that. So questions and information wise, do like, is this something like if you were, if we were going, if, if you saw something like this on a friend's page, they like, you know, did a shout out of their challenge and accountability group with a picture of, of, you know, whatever we decide to do as a picture and they see that there's a form to click and you clicked on it and you saw this, would this be something that you would, fill out, I guess. Are there other questions or different things that you guys would want? Do you guys, like, do we think that this is good? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to find a way to make it easiest for, because I think we have, I know I have a few people that they're, they're finding success. They've put a little bit of posts even in their stories or on their page, which is like, that's new for me guys. Like, that's not like, Oh my God, everybody does that. That's like, Oh my God, what, what is happening? This is amazing. Um, and so, but they're not ready to become coaches. Like these are people that I know from conversation. They're not like, Oh, I want to be a coach, even though they're doing what we do, but they are, they do have interest from their friends. And so would this be something that's so basically, um, this question is optional. They watch the video about what the app is. And then what do you see from the video that you would benefit most? So that's an optional. They can fill it out or not. And then let's get to know you, your first name, email address, your phone number, what's your Facebook or Instagram handle, what's your goal in continuing or starting a health journey? How'd you find out about this challenge? The place for other, um, it, well, excuse me, not that place. The, this next one is an optional. If you are referred or inspired by a current client, please list their name below. And then the whole goal is like, so t say I tag Brittany and Brittany has like five people that end up filling this out because they've, they've seen what she's been doing or she's been talking about it a little bit. And so they kind of actually know a little bit and they're like, oh, this is that thing that you were talking about. Um, then I can tell Brittany like, hey, it looks like you have like five friends that are wanting to do this with you. And then I can open up that conversation. Like, you know, I would be happy to take them on as a client of mine. Um, I also don't want to be naive to the fact of that. Let me, I actually wrote this down when I had, I don't want to make any assumptions. I can help them, but because you actually were the one that like got them to, to want to, to have interest in the group, I don't want to take any money away from you if you wanted to do it too. If you wanted to be learning about what coaching is too, no big deal either way. I just don't want to make any assumptions. And then it just kind of opens that door because like most of the time, you know, we really don't know if somebody is like actually have been thinking about coaching, you know? Cause there's so many people that think about it on the back end, but anyway, um, 
these, like, if you saw this, I feel like these are not that many questions that it's not an intimidating form. Yeah, I, I like this form. I, I just want to say a couple things. Yes. I like this form. I think I would use it really for people who aren't doing beach body, like, just to be honest, because, like, if it's somebody that has told me um, that they want to sign up with beach body, like, I, I have been using the pink form or the, the other one. Right. Um, because it has so much more detail and it yeah. sort of covers like other stuff that way I don't have to like continue to cover in conversation anyways I guess the point that I'm trying to make another point that I wanted to make is that um if they were invited by a coach to fill out this form it it says if you were inspired or referred by a current client mm. um there's just not I'm sorry I don't know why I'm so like of all over the place I can't think right now what I'm trying to say is that the, it doesn't ask who their coach is that invited them if they were invited by a coach on okay. this form so okay that makes thing. sense okay so put right there we could put if you were inspired if, what it, what would it be if if a coach told you to fill out this form or if you were inspired by a friend that you saw this on their page please list their name below does that make more sense yeah, yeah okay. that, that helps that helps clarify okay um, but yeah, when I'm, I mean, I would probably just use this for people that told me they aren't doing beach body, just because it, I, the, I like the other form because it covers so much more ground for me, but everybody does it differently. And I like that it's simple too. Yeah. So, so I think, like, yeah, I, I think I hear what you're saying. Let me make sure I have everything really quick. So we want to make sure that there's no sign in required that people can fill it out twice just so that it doesn't say you've already filled it out so that you can see. Um, that's just, that's what that one is that you were seeing fill out. Twice. This is just like a technical thing that I'll do on the back end and then change the clarity on the if, instead of if you were referred by a client, um, if a coach had to fill this out, put their name here or if you saw this on somebody's page. Okay. Um, and then I know so if you're watching the playback and you're like, what form is Brooke talking about? We have the challenge group details form, which is basically a form that is incredible. Um, I, I like it more than this. Um, the only reason why I wasn't going to link it on like a post is, um, and this one really is for like, just linking on like this one for me, this is one that I'm just like, it's out there. Anybody can fill out at any time after they submit it. That's when I might be like, Oh, I've, I've, I've never talked to you about your fitness journey. I've never talked to you about your nutrition journey. Um, you know, we could do a few things. We could hop on a phone call. It'll take about 30 to 40 minutes and we could really cover some of that. You'll, you'll tell me about your story and what you're looking for the most. And then that way I can, you know, make sure that you're set up with the best program. Um, for, for me personally, my, my first people, if it's, if this is their first round, um, and like they're, they just literally found me on Instagram, they can do the two week free trial. Like that's just what I'll have them do. Um, but if I know them, I want them to fill out the other form. So then I would say like, you can either hop on a phone call with me. And basically what I do is I open up the form and I just ask the same questions in the same order that the form is. Or um, I say like, I have a form that you could fill out. It'll take like 10 to 15 minutes for you to fill it out. We'll go over it. We'll either hop on a phone and discuss your options or I'll just message you back some of your options kind of depending on your time. Would you rather hop on a phone call right now and just, uh, or would you rather set a time and hop on a phone call or would you rather fill out me send you the form right now and you can fill it out within the next 24 hours and, and I'll look at it. Is that what you're kind of doing, Brooke? Or are you just like... Yeah, yeah. It seems to me like this is like the first point of contact for somebody that has like never filled out anything before for you, right? And then like the next step for me is the pink form. That's yep. why I'm using the pink form. Like I would I would probably use this for somebody, like you said, that didn't know me or yeah. I, that, that, that had never done anything with me before. Yeah, so that's why if you go to my, if you go to my link in my bio right now, that this is the one that's there. Because if somebody's like going to go fill out a link and I've had people fill out my bigger links when I used to do it, like that pink form, I've had somebody fill out that one. We should really find that one. So that people that are like, what the heck are they talking about? Um, be tiny. this should all be in be well links unless if I edited it out, which I don't, I know I've been editing this document, trying to make it really good. Um, and now I'm kind of wondering, yeah, so enroll into the January kickstart. That was the form that you just saw. Um, oh my gosh, you need to update the virtual workouts and the virtual power hours. I will update that. Um, let's just go here. Additional links to our wake up call. I think I took it out. 
Why the heck did I take it out? I saved it in my Evernote. I still use it because it's it's like the best one we've had because it's so generic. I can use it for anybody. Any, yeah. Anybody here. Send me when you when you have a after this call or something, just send it back to me if you don't mind. Um, like your Evernote link, and then I'll just I'll put it back in here. It looks like I was editing and just deleted it out. Um, but so anybody watching the playback, you'll have that. And but the pink form really does it like covers. It's like this is Beach Body on Demand. This is our two nutrition programs. Which one would you benefit you more? Here's a list of what Shakeology, Energize, Recover, um, Recharge, what all these things are. Which one would benefit you the most? What's your current exercise routine? Like that's that's like like that's what that form is. So it really just covers everything. It is so helpful. Um, I agree. And I know Ashley used it a lot um, when we first had this that form and, and really good success rate with people filling it out. Um, it just it, it really makes it easy. I do think, so what I talked to the Emerge sales people with, which I, I told Brooke before we started recording, I hired um, the Emerge Surge team um, for training purposes for myself to just kind of help me get a little bit better because I've been stuck for a little while business-wise. And they are, they are big on hopping on the phone. And I explained to them like how our team has done really well with forms and how it's like, I, I don't have a problem hopping on the phone. It's literally just a, it's a time thing. And is it worth it? And so I think that they, that we just have to assess ourselves and just say, okay, it is good to hop on a phone call with somebody and discuss their health goals. Cause it really does show that you care. The form really does do a great job at that too. I say kind of pick and choose, um, maybe try a little bit of both and see what works for you. Um, again, I'll share my verbiage and stuff that I get from this. And like I said, though, when I hop on the phone call with somebody about a health thing, I literally just open up the pink form. Um, I have one saved that's blue. I know that that's so random. It's just that Neil, Neil and I switched one to a blue one so that he can use it. And that's why I don't use the pink form as much because he's been sending it to dudes and he was like, can I have one that's not pink? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah. So I just have been using his, um, anyway, but, um, but basically, I really just open it and I just talk to ask them those questions. Um, if it's somebody that wants to talk about coaching, though, I will send them. There's a coaching form. I will literally just send them. If you go to at Be Well Tribe Instagram handle at Be Well Tribe, there's a form right there. It's the coaching form, open enrollment. I basically either tell them if they're on Instagram, they found me on Instagram. Go follow Be Well Tribe on Instagram. Um, request to follow right there. Go through the posts, and I want you to fill out the form at the top, and we'll set up a phone call. And so then they've filled out the form for coaching. So it's a separate form, but it gives them all the details. And when we hop on the call, I already know what they want from being a coach. Like I already know some of their goals, what they want, what they're looking for. Um, and then we just literally discuss from there. And I have, again, I have verbiage on that one. And I have not shared that with the team. I got that from um, a book, Build to Last. And so I need to just share that with you all. So so that's why I say like, kind of pick and choose. Like I want, if it's somebody that wants to join my team, I want to hop on a phone call with them. Um, and so, or like meet them in person. If it's somebody that I'm just signing up for a challenge group, I'm like, I don't, you know, like it's a challenge group. <laughs> like everybody should have bought. Um, like it's, it's that simple. So I hope that kind of helps a little bit. Um, but your coach, if you're watching this playback and you're not sure what to do, your coach can always help guide you. And it really is a little bit of trial and error. Um, with phone calls, I had to practice a ton. Michelle let me practice on her like a ton before I did my first phone call because that's how Michelle trains is she trains phone calls. Um, I have trained forms because it's just a personality thing. Um, so if you ever want to like role play that out, like I'm here for you, Michelle also would be happy to, to, to do that type of thing too. So um, any questions from there? I know that was, we got a little off tangent. No, but one more thing I'll say about this, the pink form that I like, I really like that there's no theme because I can use it any time of year, like for anything. And um, it doesn't have like a month name on it. It doesn't have any kind of like theme. That's why I really like it. Cause I, I mean, and I use it all the time because I can literally use it for anybody, anytime. And yeah. Yeah. And then Ashley says she likes the forms and the idea of sending voice clips to current customers to ask their friends to join. Yeah. And I'll, um, so where I'll put this verbiage is I'll make sure any, like anything that I learned from this emerge training or from, um, like this other, uh, I've been reading the book build to last and that's, what's helped me a little bit, get more comfortable with like phone calls again. Um, I'll try to get a document together. I'm not going to like be like, Oh my God, it's going to be there tonight. Cause I don't think it will. I have the kids all day today, but, um, 
but I will try to get like much better about sharing some of that verbiage with you guys. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, and then if you guys, another thing that I wanted to make sure that I covered. Yeah. So just like Brooke said, we'll, we will keep that other one, the be well kickstart. Um, and when you go tiny URL slash be well kickstart, that really generic form that we, sh that we actually showed the picture of, we'll keep that one as, as it is. Cause it's pretty generic. I don't think it says January or February or anything on it. I think it just kind of says like, you know, so both of those are pretty generic. Um, just a good way to just, you know, gauge if people are interested, if they're, if they're going to take time to fill out the form you know, it's, if, if somebody's not going to take time to fill out like a simple form as that, then they probably really aren't that interested. Um, honestly. So don't let them waste your time either. Um, but still be there supporting them and asking them, you know, next month if they want to do it and, and, you know, inviting them to fill it out. Um, if there's, if anybody is stuck on posting ideas on this weekend's, um, message, if you search your Gmail for Tamara Be Well Coach or for weekly, um, yeah, Tamara Be Well Coach or was it weekly coach email? Yeah, Tamara Be Well Coach or weekly coach email. You'll see um, I sent an email out this weekend and it had um, had a link in there for posting support. So just posting ideas um, were in there. And then let's see. I'm looking just to make sure that there was nothing else. Um, and then also if you're ever kind of like, you know, what do I, the main thing, the main, the main link to go to is www.tinyurl.com slash be well links. Everything that we've talked about is on there minus the pink form, which we're going to get back on there. Cause obviously I deleted it at some point. Um, but Brooke is going to send me that. So that everything will be on there. Um, on that very first page on there is a calendar and a link to our Facebook page where I'm going to start putting a little bit more of these files and things. Um, the be well coaches Facebook page is literally just like, it's, it's not a community coach page as much as it's, Hey, this is information. This is how to invite. Um, so it really does like it really, that page really does already have a lot of verbiage. I'll just try to, like I said, since we don't have referral verbiage, I'll try to put referral verbiage in there. Um, since we don't have phone call verbiage, I'll try to put a little bit more phone call verbiage in there. There's like, there's one post that covers a phone call verbiage, but, um, but I don't think that there's a post that covers phone call verbiage for somebody that wants to be a coach. Um, so anyway, so I will try to do that. So I'll also update and put the February calendar in there. I think the January calendar is in there right now. And I put that calendar um, in there just to show you, like, this is what I'm personally, like, this is like, you do not have to follow my calendar, but like I put in there, like, this is what I'm personally inviting to this week. So my posts will be geared around, you know, the boot camp this week, because I'm personally trying to get people enrolled into the boot camp. Um, you know, this is, I'm now focusing on coaching because I'm trying to get people focused on coaching or, you know, if I've decided to do a free group or something. So that's what the calendar is. Um, I really appreciate this feedback on the forums. This is like so helpful. Um, so I think, does that, how do you guys feel though? Like, like where are you at Brooke? Um, Ashley text it. I think I have the chat still pulled up. I'll pull it back up. Um, if you have anything else that you guys want to share that you think is important that would benefit others or that you want clarity on. Um, I just want to say like something that has really helped me a lot, um, was the GoPro book by Eric Worre. I read that, like, I mean, I literally read it when you sent you, you gave it to me when I first started coaching. And I, so I read it like a year ago and I never, I didn't put any of this stuff into practice as far as the conversation goes. Cause I didn't feel like it was how I talk. Um, and I felt like it was just too direct for me. And like, I just, I hadn't, I didn't have that confidence yet. Anyways. So I finally just started doing it because I obviously I'm at a point where I'm like, I'll do anything because <laughs> what I'm doing isn't working. And so I just started just actually like saying the things like he said, like he will not send anybody information or a third party tool unless they commit to watching it or filling yeah. it out. So yeah. I say, I'll send you this form, check it out. I say, if I send you, if I send you my information form, will you fill it out? And I'm not going to send it unless they tell me that they're going to fill it out. Yep. And that's the only reason that those two people filled out the form because, <laughs> because I've started doing that. I'm not yeah. like I'm so done wasting my time. Um, yep. anyway, the, the tips and GoPro, like they're working for me. So I, I think I, and I know that you're about to get the book build to last from me. I think that those two go pretty hand in hand. Um, th and this is, you know, like this is part of this is on me. Um, for sure, because that's how Michelle trains like that, like GoPro 
is how Michelle trains. GoPro, Neil and I have gone to the GoPro conferences three times because that's just what we did when we first started coaching. Like that was what Michelle told us to do and we did. Um, and so like we've actually like flown to Vegas to go see Eric Worre in person to do the conferences with him. And he's had Tony Robbins there two out of the times and Pitbull there two times. Like, you know, like I, there's a reason why Michelle is successful, you know, like go back, going back to, again, if we can, yes, ask for, before I send you this form, do you think you're going to be able to fill it out tonight so that I can follow up with you tomorrow? If I feel, if I send you this form, are you going to make sure that you fill it out? Yes. Okay, great. I'm going to send it to you tonight and I'll follow up with you tomorrow. And I think Ashley, you've been doing that. I think Ashley's been doing that too. I feel like I remember before she would send somebody a form, her verbiage was something along the lines of, okay, I want to send you this form, but tell me more of what has you interested. So that like worked for her because then they at least had, she had a hook. Oh girl, I see, I see that you didn't fill out this form, but you told me that you were interested in losing 15 pounds of baby weight. Like I thought you were going to fill out this form that I sent you. So, um, yeah, Ashley said, that's what I did. So yeah, that can look a little different, but definitely getting somebody to commit before filling out a form is really, really, really helpful. Um, and then, yeah. And then back to, you know, forms versus phone calls, um, again, and not just forms we have, and I know that this one's on the be well links. Um, so tinyurl.com slash be well links. There's three different videos, one about what is Shakeology, what is a challenge group, and what is, what is coaching. I believe those are the three that's on there. You can do the same thing with a link like that. Like if somebody's like, yeah, I think I actually am kind of interested in that shake that you keep posting about, could you tell me more about it? Yeah, I could. Um, you know, tell me what has you interested. If I sent you a video to watch that has a little bit of information about it, would you watch it? Let them tell you what, what interests them. Okay, great. You, I'm going to send you this video. I'll follow up with you tomorrow after you've seen it. Um, or actually, the, the, I think it actually goes, if I send you this video, will you watch it by tomorrow? So I make sure I follow up with you. Something like that, right, Brooke? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's more like having them tell you what day they're going to watch it. And then you being like, okay, great. Now here's your link. I'm going to follow up with you Tuesday because you said you'd watch it Monday. So um, so yeah, having a little bit of that commitment really helps. And then, um, for a video, for a form, um, even a challenge pack. So even like somebody like, you know, committing to a challenge pack and purchasing it, that, that does help. Um, well, I'm excited. So I really think, I really think I'm going to focus on, I'll just share with you guys. So what, what I'm going to focus on is talking to my current challengers that are in our group and asking them for referrals. Like I said, as soon as I get that referral like doc from her, I will, from the Emerge Sales lady, I will um, make sure that I put it in Be Well Coaches page um, so that we have it, even though like it's not gonna be like, you know, fit into our personality. But what she recommended was read it through, say it aloud three times, make any changes to it, ask your spouse if you can say it to them, and then go. Because a lot of times when we start, first start asking for something that's so weird for us, it's going to sound awkward. And she said too, she said, don't be afraid to acknowledge the awkward. Like, don't be afraid to be like, Hey, like, I'm just going to be honest. I don't normally ask for referrals because this is new to me, but I'm really like, I really realized where people get a lot better benefit when they have a friend joining them. So I wanted to ask you, you know, like, don't be afraid to like, tell them like, this is awkward for me. Like I used to tell people all the time when I was on the phone with them, talking to them about Beachbody, I'd be like, okay, this is going to be awkward. because I'm literally going to read this like word for word, what my coach typed for me to say, because I'm kind of practicing with you. Like, so just like, don't be, don't be weirded out and tell me, tell me if I need to stop or slow down because like, I'm nervous. And like, I did, I did do that. Like I, when I was on the phone call with people in the beginning, I literally told them I'm reading word for word. I'm going to sound awkward. Tell me to slow down if I need to, because I talk kind of fast. Um, so just, you know, acknowledging the awkward is, is really helpful. I think in a lot of that, because it just makes us human. Okay. I have one question um, just about like contacting you. Are we doing Voxer or do you want us to just keep doing the Facebook uh, pod thing? That is a great question. I have just had a lot of people that are saying their Voxers are not working. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm, I'm totally okay with either. I try to check both every day because um, you had a problem with your Voxer, right? Yeah, I have. I yeah, I think, I think that, the, I, I, I think that the app is just getting a little bit worse. I would say probably the Facebook pod. Um, I do. So I had, you guys probably saw, I had Emily's page pulled open. Um, I need to get in touch with Emily to see what she wants to do. I know that she, um, put up a post wanting to do a free group with, um, talking about like wellness and homeschooling and stuff. So I just need to touch base with Emily 
as well to see if she wants to do this group with us. So that way, cause I would, I would hate for her to be in like the pod and then like not want to be in it. And so that's where I'm at with like any pods is like, I hate for people to like be getting too much info. Um, but I also am like, Oh my gosh, I have like three homeschooling moms that would like totally benefit from being, from having like the same like knowledge that you have. But then I know like Brooke, you're like, well, I don't, I'm not even a mom. So like, so it's like, you know, anyway, I'm rambling a little bit to say that like, I like the pods. I also totally understand that like, if we're not all doing something together, it might not work. So you can reply back to this pod. Um, I'll talk to, I'll try to talk to Emily this week though, and see if she wants to stay in it. And then we'll see if there's any other coaches that were like, Oh no, I really wanted to invite to February's group. Um, I have a call on Friday with a customer lead of one of my downline coaches personally sponsored by one of my old diamonds. Um, so like, like very distant, basically a distant coach that wants to work the business, um, who I've never met before. Cause she's never been in any of our groups. So there's a chance that like, we might have a, a new girl in on these groups. So, but we'll try to do Facebook pods, I think. Okay, cool. Um, and we're still doing like the monthly gr groups and you'll send out, like you said earlier, your calendar and everything. Yep. Yep. So I'll, I'll, we'll do the monthly groups. The calendar will be in, um, be well coaches page as well as on the be well links, um, tiny URL slash be well links. Um, look for right now, I, I was planning on the whole first quarter of the year, a monthly group. Um, I'll put an announcement into the be well community on Facebook. You can tag people. Um, I know Ashley had even put a post up the other day that was, it was really good. It was kind of like, if you're not in these accountability, if you're not in the, um, challenge tracker app group, like it's for extra accountability, um, you know, go ahead and message your coach. So like, just, I think popping in to the group like that is super helpful. Um, you know, sending like a, a message to your current clients. Um, this was another thing that the emerged person told me to do, go back to clients that were having success that might not be having success right now, or might not be using beach body on demand and just be like, Hey, like I'm starting a new group in February. I know that you did really well when you did shift shop. Um, and I wasn't sure if you had found something else that you were enjoying or would want to get back involved with it. I'm trying to get a couple of people that want to bring in a few friends with them. Um, would you be interested in learning more about February? Cause then it goes ahead and like opens up the conversation. Maybe they're doing fit for mom right now. Um, and they don't want to do this, but maybe they like kind of do, but you've already said, I'm looking for a, you know, a few people that want to bring a few friends in. It makes that referral easier and, um, to bring, to bring other people in. And then the friends, she could literally just like send that other form to, you know, like the very easy form, like, okay, cool. Your friends want to join, have them fill out this form and then we'll get in touch with them. Okay, cool. Yes, baby. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll come check in a minute. Okay. All right. Thanks. I didn't yell at the kids today. <laughs> I'm like the worst mom today. Oh my gosh. Alicia was on the toilet. Sorry. Real moment. Alicia was on the toilet. Mom! Mom! <laughs> Alicia! What did you want? <laughs> like, oh my God. I'm like the worst mom ever. Oh, it was just real life. It was real life. I was just like, I don't want to, I don't want to watch you go poop. I don't, I don't want to watch it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, then she's like bawling her eyes out, telling her to get in bed for a nap. It was terrible. Terrible <laughs> mom moment. Neil had just left the house. I'm like, if somebody like was walking their dog by my house, they probably think like my kids are getting hurt. Like, because I'm like, I don't want to wipe your butt, Alicia. Like, <laughs> she's two. I have to. Oh God. Real life, people. Real life. Okay. Anyways, anything else? <laughs> Can we take a picture before we go, though? Yes, we can. That would be a great idea. <sighs> Ashley's like, I am in middle of meltdown mode. I am not taking a picture right now. <laughs> All right. Smile. Good job. Good reminder. Let me make sure. <laughs> it's funny because I have Ashley's little text chat right here that says, can't talk, toddler losing your shit. <laughs> <laughs> perfect it's perfect oh gosh all right um well i appreciate you guys hopping on um this feedback about the forums is so helpful um i'm really excited i really think that we can have a really fun february group and um and continue to do this i just think like you know and if you're ever like also i just want to like give, let you guys know if you're ever like i just need to do my own group kind of like i think emily is about to which is totally awesome like it's not going to offend me at all. Like I love doing stuff together cause I think it's fun, but I also like totally get, we each have like our own things. 
And I know Johnny, who is one of the corporate guys that came here last time, he really said, think about your groups that have had like the most success. Is it somebody that's put, is it, you know, is it people that are put into a group of 200 people or is it people that are in a group of like three people? And I was like, oh, it really was when I had those smaller groups that people really did like cut clients turned into coaches a little bit faster because they really felt that bond. So, um, so I'm not saying go and do your own group. Cause like you don't have to. Um, but like, if you ever wanted to, like, don't feel like you have to do stuff with me. Um, I do say use the be well tribe, um, or excuse me, the be well community on Facebook. I say all of us like being in there and, and popping in there every now and then, um, is really helpful, a really good place for anybody that's an existing client to kind of be housed. And then like from there, like, pop in there if you want to do like a mini group or like a five day challenge or, or a homeschooling thing like, um, like Emily is going to do. So does that help? Yeah. Um, I, personally for me, I mean, until like I do the beach body thing full time, which I have no idea when the heck that's going to happen, but until that happens, I'll probably just keep doing your groups monthly because it's been super helpful for me. Like I tried doing the groups by myself and I just don't want to do it right now. <laughs> so it, it is, it's, it's kind of a lot of work. I mean, it's one of those, it's depending on how you run it, it, it can be, it can be, it can be cumbersome if you don't have like people engaging. Um, so I, I, I've been there, I've been there where my challenge groups, like with those three people, which I thought would like get really good results. Like nobody talked to each other. So like I've been there. Um, so that's why I do like, I do kind of like this whole like 30 to 50 people, I think really does work well. I think we're at like 30 right now and it's, I've, I've, I've enjoyed it. It hasn't felt overwhelmed. And I enjoy knowing that we're going to have another group that they can join into, that their friends can join into. And then hopefully that'll bring more excitement. And then like, if they don't want to do it in March, they don't have to, they can maybe come back in April or May. So, yeah. all right. Well, I will give you back the rest of your day. I love you ladies. Um, nutrition call tonight at nine Eastern, eight central um, with Melissa McAllister. Um, that link is in team give. And um, I've just been inviting customers to that one too, for them to check out. I'm basically going to give um, one of my customers a sampler pack of Shakeology, like literally just like one packet of Shakeology, like draw a name out of anybody that joins in um, just for learning a little bit more about nutrition. So um, just another thing, if you talk to anybody today and like want to do some sort of little mini giveaway um, to get people on that call, because the more that they know and they see an experienced Beachbody, the, like the, just the better results they're going to get. Like we know that. <laughs>